Hi and welcome to part 13 of how to build the e-commerce website using Django and Vue.js. In this part I'm going to make it possible to add multiple images to a product and I'm also going to create a very simple inventory system. I'm going to begin with adding multiple images to a product. The first thing I want to do is to create a new model in the order, now in the store, slash models.py file. Below here create one more model called class product image models dot model and I want a reference to the product so I create a foreign key models dot foreign sorry foreign key product product related name is images on delete models.cascade so when I delete the product I will also delete the images I can copy the image and thumbnail like this just paste it down here and I also need the make thumbnail function so I can copy that from the other model and I'm going to need the save method as well remove that and save so when we create a new product image we also create the thumbnail so we can save this and then we can go to the command line and update the database python managed py make migrations and python managed py migrate and then we can run the server again before I continue, I just want to import this to the admin.py file so we can see it in the admin Django, now in the Django admin interface. And save. So if I now go to the admin interface to store, I will see I have a new block here product images. Let me uh, upload a picture to the lamp. I can add the drone picture there. Can take one more. The cart and save. So now we have two more images for the lamp product. In order to show these here on the front page, I need to do a couple of changes. So if I just close these two and open up product detail.html. First thing I want to do is to show this image using Vue.js instead of Django. So here I can remove this and just say main image. So now I bind the SRC attribute to a variable called main image. I need to add this here. Product.image.url So this was the URL we used up earlier. We save now, refresh, we still have the image, but now it's Vue.js showing it. Below here, I want to list out the other images in the gallery. So to do this, I have to go into views.py and create the JSON string here. So here I said images string equals, create the JSON string, thumbnail, Percentage S and image percentage S. Can add a comma here because I'm going to append more to this later. Percentage product dot thumbnail dot URL, which is this URL, and product dot image dot URL, which is this. And before I do anything more, I just want to append this to the context so we can use it in the front end. Below here, I want to loop through all images related to this product. To do this, I say for image in product.images.all. And I can get these images because I added this related name index. Perfect. 
So here I want to append more to this image string equals image string plus then I can copy this just add parentheses around this percentage image dot thumbnail dot url and image dot image dot url these are references to these two fields and save don't get any errors there so hopefully it's okay and i go to product detail i want to create one more variable here images this has to be an array in here i want to print images string safe so now i'll get this as a json string and then i can scroll up again and below the image I create one more hr just to separate this a little bit div class columns div class column is two vv for image in images so now i want to loop through the images we have inside here and create a figure class image is 128 times 128 image bind src to image dot thumbnail and when i click this i want to change this main image variable here i say change main image and pass in image dot image image is this and dot image is the value we have here so then i can close the image tag and create this method down in the vue.js script comma i just want to say image there and then it's as easy as saying this dot main image equals image and save so if I refresh now, I will have listed out the images that I got from the database. If I click the drone, the image up here changes as well. If I click that, it, clicks, it goes to this and back to this. Perfect. So now we have multiple product images on all products. Perfect. So then I can go to the to do, set this to done. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. I have to say a special thanks to Frederick Rowland for being an honorable mention Patreon. If you too want to support me, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description below. The next thing I want to do is to create a very simple inventory system. I want one more field on the product model called num available models dot integer field default should be one in case you just add it and don't want to set anything specific and save then i can update the database running mic migrations and then migrate just run the server again when a payment is successful we get the call back to our hook our webhook so i need to change this it's inside cart webhook.py and below here i want to loop through all the products in the order so i just say for item in order dot items dot all product equals item dot product product e no dot num available equals product number available minus item dot quantity and then we just save the product like that so now this will decrement the number available on this field every time a successful payment has gone through i also need to make a change to the cart.py file I want a function here to check if a product is in the cart. So here 
I say def has product self product id if string just convert it to string to be sure that it is a string product id in self.cart then I want to return true because then the cart has that product if not I return false so we can just close this and go to store views.py inside the product detail below here I want to check if this product is inside the cart so I just say if cart.has product product.id if it is there I say product dot in cart equals true else product dot in cart equals false also need to create an instance of the cart by saying cart equals cart pass in the request and I need to import the cart up here from apps dot cart dot cart import cart okay, everything still seems to be okay so then I can go to the template the product detail dot html around this button I need to do some changes first I want to check if it already has this in the cart if product dot in cart which is this variable we added here if it's already in the cart I just want to show a paragraph already in cart then exclamation mark else and if and here I want to see if there are any available of this product so say if product dot num available is greater than zero then it is available and we can show the button else be the product is out of stock and close the end like this and save so we can go ahead and test this now so now we see the button but if I go into the lamp and I set them available to zero refresh now the product is out of stock okay perfect just set this to two for the next part because I have to do some changes in the cart as well so if I just add this to the cart for testing I go into the cart when I click this button if this goes over 2 which is the number of available I want to show an alert message to get the number of available items I first need to go into views.py here and append a new value to this JSON string num available percentage s and at the end here I just a product dot num available so now this should be available in the front end and then I can go into the template for the cart and I need to change a little bit in the in the increment quantity field in the increment quantity method so before I do anything in here I want to loop through all the products for var i equals zero i is less than this dot products dot length i plus plus and then I want to check if this product is the one we want to try to increment so I say var product equals this dot products i to get it from the list if product dot id equals product id then we know that the product in the list is the same as the one we try to increment and in here we can test if quantity is less than product dot num available 
and if that's correct I can copy all of this code and paste it in here like that but if we go outside of this if it's this one yes else shown just simple alert no more available in stock save and now we can refresh everything seems to be okay okay there are an error can't read property length of undefined okay this has to be plural not just this product try again increment everything's okay increment again okay now i should see an error why didn't i get that i think i set this one too far out okay refresh and try again if i now click plus i get no more available in stock perfect if i go down and up and up I get this again so this system isn't flawless but it's a beginning at least if I now have added two here and someone else buys two before I reach the checkout you will get minus two in the stock and that's not good but at least it's a beginning so then I can go back to to do as a this task to done and that was it for this part of the video I hope you liked it and you learned a little bit. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. See you next time.